What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just t finished taking my daughter's uh, quad here for a little bit of a rip, which I don't know when you'll if you'll see that before or after this video, but um, yeah, it's running really good. So um, I decided uh, it'd be a perfect time actually to show. But well, with all the stuff we've been doing too with the truck with the dash, uh, it would be a perfect time to show you guys how to set up a custom, like legit custom dash from your own image, okay? to uh, the dash and how to set up all the gauges and all that and create your own gauges, your own spread. So, got my flashlight, got the Tahoe. Let me hop in and uh, we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, before we begin the stuff with the dash, I wanna talk about the computer side of things. Um, I'm gonna link a video down below from Holly that uh, shows you how to do it. Um, what you do is you find your picture that you want and uh, you have to convert it to 1280 by 480 and for me I used a little process a little program called GIMP I don't know you guys could use whatever Photoshop type of stuff um, so you got to get it down to 1280 by 480 and then all you do is you hook let me show you here I got my flashlight on a little dandy handy dongle that came with your dash is plug that into your computer and uh, put your picture just on it, and just right on it, and like, you don't have to put it in any special file, nothing like that. Just put it right on it, and uh, you're good to go. So now, we'll show you how to do this side of it. All right, as you guys can see, I got it plugged in. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the dash in, like the display in. Oh, that's weird, that's weird looking. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put the this dash display in, and then I'm going to uh, shut everything off, and then hook the mouse up, makes it easier for what I have to do. But uh, anyways, let me show you this side of it. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I think that was from the flashlight, so I'm going to turn the flashlight off. Oh, you can hear my kiddo yelling, happy, because she's, her and my mom are going for a walk. So, okay. So here's my dash that I have set up. As you guys can see, I have volts, AFRs, which I'm not going to need in the new one. I'm only going to need volts, mile per hour, RPM, fuel, coolant, oil pressure. That's pretty much all we're going to need, and the odometer. Okay, and then of course, you know, your signals and the brights. We just showed you guys how to do all that before. I'll show you guys how to set up the warnings as well as you guys can see. Um, I got my coolant temp warning, I got my fuel warning, it's hard to see, but it says fuel and I got the warning, so I'm getting low. So mile per hour is all that stuff there, is the oil pressures, so anyways, you guys want to see is me do what I'm supposed to do. So let me get to the dash that I don't like the most, and we're going to clear it. This one here, okay, I don't like this at all. So I'm gonna, oh, I gotta go to menu, customize. I don't like doing this with my finger. Uh, is there a way to clear it? I need to, I wanna get rid of the entire, the entire thing here. Okay, hang on a sec guys. Okay, I see. I was doing this wrong. Oops. You want to go to layout. See, then you can import them. All right. There's nothing in there. Internal. I might have some in here. I'll have to go look. Okay. Um. Anyways. So for the layout, we will clear it, and it's all gone. Okay. Then we'll go back around. We'll change it. It says Holly one Holly dash one. That's the one that I put in. And as you guys can see, there's my banner, my logo, Tahoe's and Turbos. Okay. Here we are. And we're gonna save it. Just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'll eject the card. And I will shut everything off and I'm gonna hook the mouse up. We'll be right back. All right, folks. 
Now, I went and looked... Oh, let me go through this. I went and I dicked around in all the different layouts to import the one, and I didn't find any that I liked. So we're going to do stuff like this. Uh, first we'll start with... Um, here's our speedo. Should be GPS speed. And we're going to want... It's a gauge. And we're going to go to customize here. Uh, range. Zero to something like 240 on the, on the dash, right? And we'll make it... Size-wise, we'll clear it, and we'll go 400. Make it super big. Then we can... I'm just going to show you how to do one of them. And then uh, you guys can, you know, play around with your stuff as, as you want, right? And then I'll show you guys a fin my finished product. Just because holding the phone while I'm doing this is bugging my shoulder. I don't have to be a dink about it, but segments. I want to have like 10. And then I'll even go like that, even. Make it super big. <laughs> so that way you see it. But this is just playing around, right? Uh, we can do stuff like the warnings. Well, not for this one, we won't do a warning. I'll show you guys how to do the warnings. And, like, I'll do an oil pressure next, or, like, a coolant temp. Uh, da -da -da, transparency. We're going to want to drop that right down to zero. And then we're going to go to the, disable the border. And then you guys can start seeing, like, it's starting to disappear over there. Uh, yeah, we can do it like that. We can turn them off. See? So, minor ticks, segments. Yeah, like I said, we got 10. You can even change it to 12. Oops. 132. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking crazy, eh? There, 20, 40, 60, 80. So I wish I could change the size of those numbers. I'm going to learn how to do that. I'm going to learn how to change the size of the numbers. But we can go foreground color. Uh, what do you think? What color should we do? The, we can do even something like that. So you can actually see it, right? But it looks kind of dumb like that. So this, I'm just showing you guys just some things we can do. So... But we'll be back with a finished product. So, all right, the uh, <laughs> I forgot to do, we gotta do uh, coolant temp or should we do oil? Uh, we can do oil pressure. And again, we'll go with the gauge. We gotta, customize it zero to like what 240 I think oh shit <laughs> I will uh, go through and see what some of the other gauges are just to make sure everything's right we can go to enable to disable that get to the transparency okay segments We'll say four or so. Uh, I'm going to make it bigger. <laughs> it's a little bit small. It says 200, though. This is what we're doing. I'm going to make it 250. Okay. 
you guys can see it here, we'll uh, make this like lime green so you guys can read it. Background color. Okay. And then we'll, uh, I think I'm going to do more segments. And then we'll do the warnings. Okay. Low would be, like what, zero. Right, that'd be low alarm. Low warning, I guess we'll go with 10. You guys can see, enable them both. Okay, and then uh, we will, oh, duh, I shouldn't do that. There we go, we'll just do that. Let's unlabel the one. And uh, there you go. For some reason, you know, shit's doing that, but you can also go, right, and say, I want to add a gauge. And again, we'll do another oil pressure, but we'll do a status LED, right? We'll move it over here. And then we'll customize it. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll make that 10 and this zero. And we can do, you know, super flash. And then, oh, and then we also got to come here to, um, well, we can change it to the LED itself, right? Uh, warnings, min, max, we already did that. Label, visible, there we go. Okay. Oh, why is it so big? Why is it so big? There we go. And then when, um, I'll just save it, see? Because my truck's off. Right now there's no oil pressure. Right, it's off. So it's telling me that there's a warning. No oil pressure, no oil pressure, no oil pressure. Okay, now I'm just gonna play around with this. And, well that's how I built my, my other dash. So, I probably won't play around with this much more. Just because, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but that, folks, is how I built this dash here, and you guys have seen before, you know, how to do the signal lights and all that kind of stuff. So fuel, same thing. Um, now let me go back. Come on. We'll go back. I'll show you how to do the fuel quick as well. We'll do a fuel gauge. Fuel level, and the same thing. We'll put this in the middle. You don't need that. Uh, range zero to a hundred. Foreground color. A little red. Background color. Segments, I think four is good. Border enabled, and that's oh, where's that background? Background color. Oh, shit. How come there's background color now? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Okay. Now there's fuel right center. You guys can see. I ended up making an all black dash and doing my own, you know, my own stuff as well. But for now, this is where we're at for this. Okay. Now we're gonna do some some of the warnings. Low, we'll say, 
uh, what? Half of 25 is what? Twelve point five, I guess. Or is that how it has it? See how they have it set up here. Zero twenty-five. Okay, so I'm at a quarter tank. Is where I want to be worried about. So warnings, low warning. I think we're gonna go what twelve. Low alarm. We'll go six. That should be good there. For some reason, it's not working. Oh, because they're not enabled. There we go. <laughs> that is why. Because they were not enabled. And fuel things visible. Okay. Perfect. And this one here, let me see. Perfect. This one here, GPS speed. Label. Perfect. So now you got your fuel. You see that? Now I'll save it. And there you go. <laughs> so that's, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up for now. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to end it uh, for this one. I just wanted to show you guys basically how to set up a dash, um, how to take your picture and put it on your dash, and then basically how to set up a gauge out of nowhere, like how to make them look like this. As you can see, I, I I did some little bit of tweaking to my to my dash, to this one. I made stuff a little bit bigger, um, stuff I'm gonna end up deleting, like feel pressure. But for now, this one will work fine for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some other stuff before I get this one Ooh, finished. Come on. Yeah, this one here. Uh, like, I want to, um, now that I know that this works, I'm going to change the picture up. I'm going to move the Tahoes up here, turbos down there, and, you know, put something maybe, put the ampersand in the middle. Something like that. Um, maybe do something gauge-wise where I figure out, like, you know, or I get this, I take this picture, and I send it to a graphic designer with, like, a gauge layout type of thing, and they make me a file. <laughs> so, could figure stuff like that out. You never know. But for now, like I said, I'm just going to rock the American one. So, because everything seems to work good. Um, oh, shit. What did I just press? Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> oh, it froze. I hate when it does that. That's right. But anyways. Um, yeah. For So, for now... I'm just going to use um, the old one. Come on. This one here. So the only problem I have, I bet you I hit record or something or playback. One of the two, anyway, I bet you I hit. Anyways, like for now, the only issue I've been having, as you can see, I got to set up my miles every time I turn the key back. But it's not that big a deal, honestly. So, yeah, that's, like I said, how you set up your stuff like that. And as you can see on this one, I have it set up to 260 for my coolant tamp. Oil pressure goes up to 100. So, that was my bad there. I got coil, the two mixed up, I guess. So then you can see I got my, you know, my warnings and stuff set up for that one. Got my warnings and stuff set up for my fuel, which my fuel one is probably about to go off soon. Um, I don't have a warning for that oil pressure yet. I'm going to set one up, I think, here right away. Um, other than that, I think we are pretty good to go. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I hope you learned something. That's the name of the game. That's why I, I'm, I started doing this channel, just to 
to make to make a log also of my my build so that I could go back ever and look because I've had to a few times to remember what I've done or you know if I get myself into a corner um, also to help other people that may be doing the same kind of build or similar build like or you have a, whole, a dash like I got or the system I have or you know stuff like that any way that we can help that's always the number one so with that I just want to thank you guys and if you enjoyed the video Give us a like, a comment, subscribe. A huge thing. It doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe at all. It just lets me know that you're here. And um, if you liked our video and you're somebody who's been, you've seen a few of our videos, you just click that little subscribe button and it'll tell you every time that I upload a new video. So you never have to miss one if that's, if that's your bag. <laughs> so, but I want to do thank everybody who has subscribed. Love you guys, every single one of you. Um, I'm getting closer and closer and closer to getting up there, which is awesome. But for now, we've got a Patreon. If you want to help, you know, buy me a coffee, throw, you know, anything, you know, it, it all helps. Um, cause I do this all out of my own pocket, like, and it's not cheap, <laughs> especially when you live in Canada. So, cause prices are doubled, but yeah. So yeah, if you like, the, like I said, if you like the channel, give us a like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, otherwise, that's where I'm going to end it. I'm going to now have a few cold snacks and uh, relax because I have a lot of videos to film in, a f in uh, not a much time. And I got to head from one town to the other town in one day to do two shows. And then the next day I got to go do some tractor pulls for you guys. So hope you enjoy. Uh, so if you don't, if there's like, you know, nothing for a bit. It's because I took a week off to prepare for what I got to do. So, but anyways, love you guys. Till next time. God bless.